Hello everybody, this is Fernando for the latest Urban Legends video and my thanks for the suggestions. I'll continue to make maybe one or two more after this this week so please keep them coming on there. Otherwise with this particular Urban Legend as requested and asked those of you to see if there was anything related really to video games or video game characters because that stuff is really really fascinating and this one, um, once I saw this, I was reminded of this, and I had heard about this from a while back, but it's just one of those things where it went away in terms of memory, but seeing this instantly made me want to make a video about this again. And it has to do with these creepy looking figures associated within Super Mario Galaxy 2. Now I say figures because there really isn't a name yet for them. Some people have called them the shadow people of Super Mario Galaxy 2. Others have called them ghosts. Others have called them, uh, it's like a Japanese word, Kodama. Uh, I believe that's the word on there. Um, others have called them exactly what they're listed within the files of the game, um, which is essentially called Hell Valley Sky Trees. Um, so again, there's many official or non-official names associated with these figures, but here's how you get to them. And with regards to its urban legend status, what's unique is that um, Nintendo has been made aware with regards to the to these figures, and there, as of yet, they haven't placed any official statement. So. Um, I know something like this isn't by accident. Whenever you, games are being developed, um, they go through a meticulous, meticulous planning period. Um, stuff that just doesn't accidentally happen within a game, it can't. The coding that happens within a game has to be on purpose in order to ensure everything is correct. So somebody placed these figures within the game itself, these creepy looking figures within the game itself, and it was done on purpose to ensure that the way the coding works you would always see them within the level so here's how you find them uh, myself personally I haven't played Super Mario Galaxy 2 or really any of the Mario games the more recent ones to give you an example uh, I, I love playing video games but I kinda stopped after the PlayStation 2 era only because I was getting tired of of new things coming out almost every other year or so and having to keep up with all the latest um, hardware, so I gotta cut tired of that. And I just let it go. It's, it's it's amazing, by the way, to realize how you think um, you need something, but when you don't have any more, you quickly realize, oh, okay, I guess I could easily do without it. So still, the occasionally I play some games uh, through the computer, but that's about it. So that's why with this game, um, I haven't played it. I haven't experienced it. Um, I'll ask those of you hearing this and watching this video. Um, if you've had experience with this game so that way you could relate it as well, but here's how it goes. So, you're playing Super Mario Galaxy 2. There's a very specific level that's called the Shiverburn Galaxy. I guess it's not really a level, it's more like a, like a mini section of the game that contains sub-levels within it. And so, when you reach that particular galaxy, then you start wandering around it you have to go towards several areas and with regards to this particular area that I guess you could call them missions um, one is called Prince Picante's Peppery Mood um, which is kind of creepy because I'm looking at the images associated with that mission it doesn't really look so peppery it doesn't really have a good mood it seems in fact that it's uh, pretty doom and gloom but maybe I'm looking at just a few images on there but if you're in that particular mission, again it's called Prince Picante's Peppery Mood, and if you go to a first person view, you have to go to a first person view in order to do this, and then you look towards the cliffs in the background, you'll see these figures. And here's a close up in fact of these figures on there. <clears throat> now these figures, what's really creepy about them, and again the reason why I say this is done on purpose, is because these figures apparently follow you throughout the level. In fact, there's in a, they're on another mission called Octo Army Icy Rainbow Rump. Who, who comes up with these names, you know, with these levels? Uh, it's, it's, it's funny, but anyways, it's called Octo Army 
icy rainbow romp and when, if, if you look up and you see these figures uh, through first person you'll see them but no matter where you go if you continue to look up they'll be there that's what makes it so creepy so you could be playing for five minutes see these figures and then travel through another part of the mission look up again and they'll be there watching you that's so creepy um, and again the coding of this has to be manipulated it has to be uh, programmed in such a way so that these things follow you no matter where you are now somebody apparently with very good technical skills was able to hack the game and go into the coding files associated with it and apparently the um, I guess the part of the code that makes up these figures is called uh, it's a sky model it's called beyond hell valley sky that's the name of it and then within that the texture for these particular figures is called hell valley sky tree so that's why I was mentioning earlier how some people believe it to be the official name of this particular urban legend and as you can tell hell valley sky tree is not a tree but it certainly looks like something that would uh, I guess dwell within the realms of hell it's very creepy looking very eerie looking on there um, and in fact it seems like Nintendo has not had this uh, particular type of purposeful programming just in this game they've done it in the past and doing some research on there I found that some people uh, if you go way back when to uh, the 64 Nintendo 64 days and oh I'm sorry no, no no if you go to the game Super Mario 3D and you bring up a certain level on there you'll see an image on here there's a figure a ghostly figure that looks kind of similar but inverted uh, so in other words what's black is white white is black and it pops up on a particular level and when I say pops up it appears and then vanishes so that's what makes it extra creepy again you can't do that by accident uh, this has to be purposefully programmed and so you'll see a picture of it here again it's under Super Mario 3D there's a particular level where um, it's a level 4-4 and if you go right to the end of the level I guess where that flagpole is where normally you would jump on and end the level there instead what you have to do is you have to go towards the background towards the fence creep up as much of the fence as you can and then you'll see like a ghostly face uh, appear and then disappear on there very very creepy stuff you'll also see here that this is why some people refer to it as the Kodama these figures on there because it's actually part of a Japanese um, I guess you could call it urban legend sorts where a Kodama is basically a spirit that lives in a tree and uh, it ties in to this game on here because with these um, figures these creepy looking figures being called sky trees then you have the concept or at least hell valley sky trees you have the concept of them tying to the tree of a kodama but that there's something living within these figures as compared to also something living within trees themselves now i don't know why it's called a sky tree because again these things don't really look like trees to me but i guess from far away that's how the programmers were expecting it to code um, nothing malicious really associated with this urban legend nothing in terms of like subliminal messages or um, I guess ul ulterior motives or anything involving um, like with other urban legends where stuff isn't what it seems to be instead it's pretty straightforward it looks like on here other than the fact that it's creepy stuff and that these things are always looking at you um, there's nothing you can do really in fact uh, doing my research has said that if you hack the game and you try to uh, fly directly towards it towards these mysterious figures you'll lose a life and so that's why nobody can really interact and the only true way to have any interaction with these figurines is to hack the game completely and then see the files themselves so has anybody played this game and seen these things if anybody like knows what I'm talking about uh, if you have please you know post your comments share them below if is there any other place that they stand out on any other place where um, they pop up somewhere or if anyone knows because I love the concept of on that game uh, Super Mario uh, 
3D where you have a ghostly figure just very very hidden pop up and then disappear like you would literally have to look for it right at the right moment or for, for it to do that if anybody knows about that uh, any other places you know post them share them below so that way um, others can start taking a look the next time they take out these games and start playing them again as well so very very creepy stuff very cool stuff and again thank you for your suggestions on there so alright everybody that's it as always um, I'll follow up with another set of urban legends in a little bit so thanks again Take care. Bye.